welcome to Albert's Voice Tech. Hey, okay. For those of you out there that have the Gateway Laptop, so I, I've got the touch screen working now. You need to go into the device manager and you need to uninstall that driver. It's called Goody. You have to go under um, compatible um, HDMI. Yeah, let me see if I can show you. Well, then, okay. So I don't know if you can see that. Oops. So I'm in the panel. Uh, let's see. You can scroll up and down. So you want to go in the human interface devices and, and uninstall the Goody G O O D I X touch driver installer. There is no new driver, even though I installed what they had on their website. So it did install something. So whatever is missing with the Windows update, this one I had on this lab, on this um, gateway from Walmart, uh, the GPU. Well, I don't know if it's GPM or GPU, but it's, I think it's GPM. <laughs> that is weird. Weird name. Well, I like alias for gateway. Okay, so yeah, I had different glasses on. There's a reason for that. <laughs> um, but it works. I uninstall, uninstall the driver. Do not delete it. Okay. Whatever the driver, because I went to their website, the site, the Guni driver, or its own original manufacturer driver, because the people that make this laptop, it's not they're not using that driver, but they are using that company's interface panel. Scroll up and down, so I'm using my hand. So that's it. Well, whatever driver they got there, you can download. It'll install some files it needs, but it's not gonna put the driver. But whatever out of files it needs to work, that's it. Because this is basically an Intel um, two-in-one, half tablet, half um, laptop. Um, make sure you get the latest. Intel drivers do not use Microsoft drivers. Just be careful. That's what a lot of those problems. Microsoft try to be compatible. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, everything works. I just have to remember. Mine's... So what happened was when Windows 11 updated itself, I think it's 2H, whatever it is, it just <laughs> it blew out the driver. And then you couldn't get... If you have this laptop and you just bought it at Walmart and it's running Windows 10, you need to back up. You need to back it up. Back up. But whatever is on there for the driver, is you need that driver or copy it and store it someplace. Because that is what these are using. Oh, wow. All right, let me... Um... Another thing, I'll have to recombinate this. I need to kind of. Oh yes, there is a Razer company. Are uh, it's a gaming company. They have um software for those of you who play um um what do you call it again? Is this? Sync. 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 Yeah, World of Tanks Blitz. So the software is designed to clean up the computer, um, remove software that doesn't need to play with the game. Because uh, you say, hey, the game is slow. Well, because Windows is running all sorts of stuff in the background. So you want to make sure nothing's running that's going to interfere. And then it'll free up the RAM. 
then when you finish playing the game, it reinstalls everything automatically. So basically, it has to run in the background while you're playing the game. Now, if you're streaming, you're going to have an issue with that software. I know it has a streaming feature, but you might have to disable it. Like I found out, like if I want to do a screen recording. All right, let me turn this off and turn this back on again. Let's start it up in tablet mode. Let's see how it works. Oh, I didn't even. Okay. Something. I'm gonna have to delete the driver and try to get in. I'm gonna contact this goodie company and say, hey. There's something up with your driver here. Now the touch screen doesn't want to work again. It was working. Oops, too much. It didn't just completely shut down. Let me shut down completely. <sighs> Make sure you download the drivers from uh, Intel for this and the chipset. I know I, I, some people have actually gone in there and take out the CMOS battery. There's a battery to back up the CMOS. Uh, that's the BIOS battery. You have to take this apart and disconnect that battery and then reset it. You might run into problems. These things are so tricky. <clears throat> the way they make these so fast and so, com well, uh, it's not a bad laptop. This, you know, most of us bought it for the touchscreen. That's what yours truly. But you want the touchscreen to work. So, and you need a cooling pad for this because it will get hot. I'm going to say I can run World of Tank Blitz on this tab. <laughs> yeah, I was laughing. I want to see if it'll work. Because I'm really in, right now. Oh, hey, the touch screen. Hey, the touch screen did. Whoop, I, I swiped it up and it didn't go up. But I can't get the interface to come out for the keyboard. Something else is missing. remember where I was. I don't want these screens. All right. I have to clean this up, but I'll keep working on this. What happened here? Shifts into tablet mode. Ah, the screen worked. I press the button. See, press up the button and it popped up. Um, let me see if I can go into the file manager. I need to go into my um server. I had to re this is a new fresh copy of Windows uh, because I had 11 Pro. Right, but you need the key for the pro. It'd be a hundred dollars. What is this? No, I don't want Steam. I want this. That's not what I pressed. That screen's working. This teams keep popping up all the time. It's very annoying. And I disabled it and it comes right back on again. <laughs> 